lot of people have tried to draw similarities between Mussolini and Hitler and the, the, the drive that those men had towards autocracy and, and dictatorship. The difference, though, I think makes Donald Trump even more dangerous. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. This means war. That is where we are. We are at war with these people. There is a war out there, and we need to recognize that we've got to armor up. This is something that is undermining our democracy, and he must be stopped. He cannot be president. Clearly, you know, this is a um, literally call to arms. They're not going to stop, and, and everyone beware because they're not going to stop, they're not going to let up, and they should not. And the donor class can't just sit back on the sidelines and say, oh, well, don't worry, this will all work itself out. They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. If you want to fight against the country, you need an F-15. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. We cannot condone this. Or let's start a real physical revolution. An assassination attempt is contrary to everything we stand for, isn't it? As a nation, everything. Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans quote a clear and present danger. We must unite as one nation. Echoing the same exact language used in Nazi Germany. There's no place in America for this kind of violence, for any violence ever. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Trump is a threat to this nation.